What's up guys, Iovo here, and welcome to a brand new tutorial video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to edit videos using Sony Vegas. Now keep in mind, this is a basic tutorial. I'm going to try to go over all of the Sony Vegas basics in under 10 minutes. Now if you guys do like videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can break 1,500 likes. And with that being said, let's get started. Now having a first look at Sony Vegas might be a bit confusing, but I promise you it's much more simpler than it seems. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and import some media. So just go to file, import, media, and then just choose some files to import. So the first thing I'm going to import is my actual intro. So I think that's saved in documents and it is, wait, no, it's in videos, my bad. All right, videos right here. It's called uh, sexy new intro right there, perfect. And once we open it, it's going to show up right here where all my content is. So whenever you import files, they're going to show up over here. Now this is where your content is stored. Now, if I wanna actually edit this clip, all I have to do is drag it onto a timeline right here, like so. And right now I'm gonna click no so that the project settings don't match the media. And we're going to put it into the timeline. So this is where your content is going to be stored. This is where you actually edit the content. And as you can see, there are different layers. So right now we have one audio track and one video track. If we want to add more tracks, all you have to do is right click and click on, you know, insert video track to add another video track and you can overlay another video on top. Over here, you have your preview screen. So if you watch the video, it will preview my actual intro. Now it might be a little bit laggy at first, which is fine. That's just the actual preview screen. Once you render it, it's going to look much better. And the final thing we're going to go over is this yellow thing over here. This is called the loop region. So the loop region is going to be what part of the actual project you want to render. So say I wanted to render the entire intro, I would just move this yellow part over here so that it matches up with the intro like so. And now it's going to render the entire intro. If I wanted to render half the intro, I would just move the loop region so that when I render it, it's going to only render half the intro. So now you know how the basic layouts work. If we use the scroll wheel to zoom in, you can see that you can actually add fades into your actual clips. So I can actually move this and I can add a fade in. And if I select the corner and drag again, I can add a fade out. You can do the same thing with the audio as well, like so, and add in fades. Now, some other things you can do is also split the audio and the video. So right now, if you see, you can see that, you know, the audio and video move together. If I want to separate them, I just click on the U key, and now the audio and video are separated. You can also split clips as well. So say I wanna split the audio halfway, I just make sure that the audio is selected and the actual timeline is being split and then just press on the S key and now the audio has been split. So those are some basic shortcuts. You can also change the audio levels or the gain. So all you have to do is click on the top part of the actual audio track and drag it up or down to change the audio levels like so. And one more thing you can do or one thing I would recommend you do is whenever you import a video clip, right click on it, go to properties and for some reason, the Sony Vegas software turns on Smart Resample, which a lot of people say makes your clips look much worse. So make sure whenever you import a video clip, you right click, go to properties and click on disable resample and click on okay. So right now you know the basics and that's pretty much a lot of Sony Vegas. That's a lot of the things I do to actually edit my videos. So for example, if I wanted to import some gameplay, I could go to file, import, import media. I can go to downloads and I can maybe put in some gameplay like so right there and I would just drag it in. And we're going to be using the same shortcuts that I taught you right now. We're going to press U to uh, split the audio in the video. I'm going to click on the audio, click delete to delete it. I'm going to right click on the video, go to properties, disable resample, click okay. And then just add a fade in and a fade out by dragging. Now say I wanted to add a watermark to this video. All you have to do is make sure you have a new video track created. So if you don't have that created, just right click on the track and you can insert a video track or an audio track if you want to add you know, commentary and music. And once you have that track created, you can actually import your watermark, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to go to File, Media, and then I'm going to find my watermark, which should be it's kind of buried within my files, but we're going to find it, and it should be watermark 3. 
we are going to drag that onto the track above. So as you can see, everything is done within layers and we, we are going to drag this image so it matches up with the actual video. And then we're going to add a fade to that as well. Now, once you have finished making your video, what you can do is you can actually change the settings of the video by going over here. And this is the project video properties. And as you can see right now, I have it set to 1920 by 1080, which is 10, uh, yeah, 1080p. And I have the frame rate set to 30 FPS. You can also double it right here and set it as 60 FPS, which is 59.94. Click apply, click OK. And once you actually have your video done, you can actually render it. So the first thing you have to do, don't forget, is to make sure the loop region actually has the entire video selected. I made the, I've made this mistake so many times, but I'm going to make sure the loop region is over the entire video. Go to file, go to render as. And say you're working on this project and you don't have time to finish it. You can just save the file by going to file, save as, and saving it as a .veg file. So you can actually edit it later. But right now we're going to render it. So we're going to save it. Uh, we're, going, we're going to name it a uh, test video, like so. And here you can select what type of uh, render settings you want it to have. So generally you'd go to internet HD 1080p, but you can actually click on this and then customize the template by clicking on customize template. And I've actually customized my own version right here, which is internet HD 1080p 60 FPS because the default is in 30 FPS. So you guys can go ahead, copy these settings down and then save it as your own preset. So right now this is uh, 1080p 60 FPS, which I think looks really nice. And once you have the settings saved, just click OK and then click render to start rendering your video. Now the output or the file is going to save wherever you put the folder as. So right now this video is going to save in my documents, but once you render it, your video should be done and good to go. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this simple tutorial. If you guys did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Ioko and I'm signing out.